In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you a quick illustration of the two ways in which you can set up your subtitles, depending on the kind of file format that you use. This goes back to lesson number one on subtitles, but I felt it would be helpful if I illustrated the two separate ways in which you can create files, one that will make the uh, subtitles visible no matter what, the other which will make the subtitles an item you can click on or off in your video software. Now what happens when you save the video? If you save the video, if you create your project or render it, let me go back to produce here. If I produce the video in a format that's MKV and I use that first option, then the titles uh, I can turn on or off. If I use a format that doesn't allow for MKV, um, like when WMV file, it, it won't matter. I can't turn them on or off. Um, let's see if MPEG does that too. Uh, no, it doesn't give me that option. But uh, this one over here, the H.264, does give me the MKV option. Otherwise, the titles will just be superimposed on the video. So what I'd like to do, let me just create a, a uh, produce a video from this, and I'll show you the difference in a moment. We'll pause as I go ahead and do that. Now what we have here is the file that I created. I'm, I simply called it Junk2. And this is a file created in a non-MKV or SRT format. So as I go ahead and play it, uh, this is the output. And the subtitle is here and there's nothing I can do to change it. I can simply choose the subtitle file. It's English, it's audio. That's all I can do. Uh, so I have very little flexibility. I'm going to pause this and then load the second option that I used. This is the second way on which I produced a video, creating an MKV file. And I'd use the first option when I went to do my subtitling. And so that was the one where I can turn the subtitle on or off from the user end after the video is produced. So I'm going to go ahead and play this and watch how I can turn the subtitles off. Click here and click off and it disappears. I can click again and now we're back on for the remainder of the video. But if you want to be able to turn it on and off, just click here and it disappears. So that's an example of the two different options that you have when you're working with your power director.